What's up guys, Mac Daddy X. I uh, wanted to talk to you kind of about uh, a conversation I had a while ago. Uh, and this little conversation uh, was when I first met uh, my, one of my, one of my best friends. His name is Joe. You know, uh, met Joe and pretty early on, you know, we were uh, sitting in the cafeteria, you know, at Hampton University and uh, the strangest sort of, you know, you, you first meet somebody, you go hang out for the first time and you get to know them, you know, this was one of those first hangout type session things, you know what I mean? Both went to the cafeteria, you know, and we had the strangest sort of, I guess, beginning conversation type meeting, you know what I'm saying? And, uh... It's funny because uh, there's certain things it's just kind of, you know, table manners that you don't want to mention while you're eating, you know what I'm saying? And um, we sort of we sort of didn't abide by the rules this time, you know what I mean? It, it was just, it was a matter of fact, you know, got to discussing, you know, well, okay, well, you know, what's the, uh, what's the nastiest video game you've ever played, you know what I mean? You're the worst video game. What's the nastiest video game you ever played? Oh, well, you know, he was probably thinking something like, you know, StarCraft we were playing at the time. You know, it's it's kind of bad. You know, it's it's a really good game, but, you know, it also, every time you kill somebody, there's blood splats or, you know, they kind of explode a little bit. You know what I mean? You see kind of like guts coming out and stuff, but, you know, it's a, it's a real-time strategy game. That thing can happen in war, you know, but, or, you know, you might throw out Mortal Kombat, something like that, you know. Somebody pulls off their face and it's a skeleton and they light you on fires and send you to hell or something or, or you know, you rip someone's head off, pull their heart out, you know, that sort of thing. You know, you take half your body off, you know, but I wasn't thinking that, you know, because remember, uh, we didn't ask what was the most violent video game. We asked what was the most nasty video game and, you know, I took that differently, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, to me, the very first thing that popped up in my head, you know, nastiest video game ever made up I, I was thinking of dig dug you know what I mean dig dug you know I I, I don't know about y'all but you know I kind of dig, took dig dug kind of differently I, I wasn't really thinking of it as what it was supposed to be just a game where you're running around digging holes and trying to destroy enemies now I, I I kind of always have thought dig dug was a little bit nasty you know what I'm saying I, and you know I brought this up I, I couldn't help myself I I said Dig Dug, and uh, I guess that took him by surprise. He wasn't expecting that, you know. What does Dig Dug have to do with anything nasty, you know? <laughs> There's no blood in Dig Dug. There's no... I'm like, yeah, but, you know, you have to you have to look at it as it was. At the time, you know, they didn't have the graphical capabilities as they do now to explain what they were getting at. And, you know, I, I, I look at things differently. I think that, you know, you have a little game like Dig Dug. It's an 8-bit game, you know. You have to leave a little to the imagination, you know what I'm saying? And I, I guess I have a big imagination, you know. <laughs> the reason Dig Dug kind of grosses me out is because uh, I don't know. It, there's always been something about some man digging holes and stuff, and he leaving this waste trail behind him. You can see where he's been. You can see where he's been walking. You know, it reminds me of just you know leaving poop everywhere or something. I, I don't know how to explain it. You know, leaving a trail behind you every time you walk somewhere. I, I don't know. I don't. There's just something about that type of game. It's not like the others, you know. It's not like Pac-Man. You actually eat dots and the dots go away or something. But I mean, I don't. There's just something about leaving this trail about everywhere you've been. I, I didn't like it. It's gross, you know. It looks like waste to me. I, I don't know. It, Dig Dug. It's just one of those games that reminds me of real life to me. You know, it's, it's like explain. You know, I'm like, well, I mean, reminds you of being on the job or being around other people. I mean, uh, you know, you 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 ever have these type of coworkers or something wherever you go. Whether you're, you go to the restroom in school or go to the restroom at a library, restroom at your job or something, and you always see the same person show up every time that you do. You know what I mean? You, and I, I told him, man, I'm like, you know, Dig Dug reminds me of having to go to the bathroom and go number, do, do number two every time. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know what it is about this game. I just think it's nasty. I, Dig Dug reminds me of going to do number two. I just, I can't help it, you know? It, Every time I, 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 I had this coworker a long, long time ago. You know what I'm saying? And 
his name was Bob, and every every single time I went to the bathroom for some reason, I saw him. He was going to the bathroom the same times of the day I was, you know, without fail. And we thought it was funny at first. It's like, you know, what are you doing, following me? Ha, ha, ha. You know what I'm saying? And I'll, you know, kind of chuckle. Yeah, I know. It's strange. That junk wasn't funny no more after three weeks. <laughs> three weeks went by, you know little concern, you know, I try to wait for 15 more minutes just in case, you know, go to the bathroom 15 minutes later and there he is again, you know, and I'm like, what is going on, you know, but it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't just because we were seeing each other all the time in the restroom, you know, sitting next to each other and stuff, it, it was more because there was a reason I was avoiding Bob, you know what I'm saying, I was avoiding Bob because every time I sat down to go to the restroom, you know, I'm sitting here thinking I'm blowing this place up, you know what I mean? I, thank goodness nobody was in here when I walked in, you know? And then all of a sudden Bob walks in, and he sits down in the stall next to me. And I know it's him because, you know, after he starts doing his little moans and grunts and stuff, he'd be like, oh, 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 you know, it's like, uh, oh, you know? A little bit disrespectful, isn't it? You're making all this noise and stuff. But, you know, I, just to make sure it's him, you know, kind of do that little sideways look, you know what I'm saying, seeing un under the stall next to you just a little bit, and you see that you see that slight vision of the shoe next to you, you're like, aha, it is Bob, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> you're like, oh man, you know, what is wrong with him, and then, you know, it, after he gets done grunting and moaning and stuff in the restroom, you know, he, I'm, I'm the silent type, I'm always the person trying to be respectful of everyone there, you know, I, I don't grunt and stuff when I go, you know, but he just lets it all out, just, <laughs> you know, you hear the plunking and everything, and all, all of a sudden, you know, five seconds later, the most otherworldly smell in the world. I mean, it, it, I can't even describe it and don't want to, because if I did, you, it would gross you guys out. So but I, all I can tell you is it's the worst smell I've ever smelled. And it's been consistent for the entire time I worked there, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I was there for over half a year, you know what I mean? It, it's crazy to be at a job and you're always seeing someone around the exact same time. You know, I was like, man, you know, you, you smell something like that, and it makes you think, you know, I didn't actually ever say it to Bob, but it makes you actually think, you know, man, you need to go get that checked out, you know what I'm saying, you need to go to the doctor right now, you know, you don't need to be spending your time in here, you need to go to the emergency room, you know, that, that is gross, you know what I'm saying, Chipotle doesn't do that to people, you know, I'm like, man, you know, that's really bad, you know, and so I always, every time I always, uh, you know, try to finish my business before he does, but we awkwardly always manage to finish at the same time. You know, you always have to end up washing your hands at the sink next to this person. You're just kind of like, you know, hi, hey, you know, that's it. You know, but it's like, mm, you know, it really smells, you know. You've got to make sure you leave the bathroom first and so no one thinks it was you. You know, but uh, the reason why it reminds me of real life is because uh, it's because of the monsters in Dig Dug, you know. They had these two main types, you know, they had they had the monster in there that his face was so green, every time he talked, he was breathing fire. You know what I'm saying? You ever meet anybody like that, a co-worker or something, had breath that bad, that they were breathing fire all the time? You <laughs> always trying to run and avoid him, you know, it's like, oh, there he goes again, you know what I mean? That's the first thing, it reminds you of that person, you know, it, the only way to eliminate someone with bad breath is to, you know throw a pump into them and keep pumping until they blow up, you know what I'm saying? That's that's the only way to get rid of them, and they, you know, it's the same thing for the other monster they had on there, you know, Dig Dug reminds me of real life, co-workers and stuff, you know, it, other monster on there has got this kind of smiley face when you look at him, but every now and again, you're not careful, he emits a smell so bad that he can walk through walls and reach you, you know what I'm saying? This is the kind of stuff I'm talking about, you know, you're not careful, you going over there with a fire extinguisher to try to get rid of the uh, dude whose breath smells bad, and you got this other one who's just lingering, coming to get you. It's this little face that goes through walls, you know what I mean? And this is the kind of smell that's so bad from the bathroom, that same face would be created, and it would go through the walls to try to find me at my cubicle. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's bad, man. Dig Dug reminds me of real life. And these are the kind of things that it reminds me of. I'm like, you know, I, I play Dig Dug, it reminds me of having to go to the bathroom or smelling bad stuff at work, you know what I'm saying? That, that's what I'm getting at here, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's bad, man. Obviously, the only way to get rid of it is to have your own pump, so, you know, 
it's 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 almost a horror story to sit down and play this game, you know, Dig Dug or whatever. Because you you only have that pump. It's it's not like a little ectoplasm detector and uh, you know some eradicating equipment like the Ghostbusters had. You know, you have this pump. You know, and that's that's all you get. You don't have a pump at work. You can't really get rid of them like that. But you know, the game lets you think that you can. You know what I mean? You play in Dig Dug and it reminds you. So I mean, that's that's what I'm talking about. You know, and you you keep getting to higher levels in Dig Dug. You know, it gets even grosser. It's nastier. You know. The more co-workers that you pump and blow up, you know, the more flowers start emitting from all the toxic gases underneath the earth and stuff. You know, that, that, that stuff is nasty. You know, you get so many flowers, it fills up the entire screen with flowers that have basically come to life and sprung because you've been blowing people up underneath the earth. You know, and that, that, that's kind of gross to me. You know, I don't, I don't really like that. You know, and, and plus, you, you get to a far enough level in Dig Dug. I don't know if you've ever gotten far enough where, you know little fire breathing co-worker starts turning blue and other other things starts turning brown and you're like yeah you know it's in the game you, you blow them up and they just pop you know but like I said it leaves stuff to the imagination I always imagine co-workers actually blowing up you know what I mean and you know it's not gonna be that two animation pop you know a real co-worker blows up you know all the stuff that you were worried about them in the bathroom with is gonna come out you see what I'm saying I mean, that's, this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about, you know. So, I mean, sometimes uh, you you end up in awkward situations, too, in the bathroom, you know, and that's, it reminds me of that playing Dig Dug. I don't like the game, you know. I mean, you ever been in the bathroom, and you're sitting in the stall alone, you're by yourself, and you're halfway done, you're almost about to be done with your business, and then all of a sudden someone busts in like Kramer as fast as they can, huffing and puffing, sits in the stall next to you and does their thing? You ever have that happen to you? That stuff is gross. They have no regard for human life around them. You know what I mean? You even have them try and shake your stall a little bit. Just, duh, 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 duh. you're like, no, someone's in here. Please, no. You know, there's, oh, oh, you know, you go rush into the next stall. And they just all out there. They're just like, oh, 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 oh. And you're, you're thinking to yourself, like, dog. Gone. Could you be any nastier? You know what I'm saying? You're trying to get done as fast as you can before the explosion lands all around you. You know what I'm saying? We're going and doing this thing, just oh, oh, plunk, 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 plunk. You know, ew. You hear the water plunking and stuff? You're like, Ugh. One time I saw a couple of brown dots next to me. I'm like, oh, that's gross, man. And the worst thing about that is every now and again that exploding individual is like a vegetarian or something. You know. The smell of waste isn't the first thing that hits you, the asparagus is. You're like, oh, oh, you know, you got to get out of there. Got to break loose before the entire place melts down or something. You know, it's like, I mean, what are these people eating? You know, I, but none of them was as bad as Bob, you know. <laughs> now, thankfully, you know, Bob isn't a gamer, so, you know, I'm, I'm not worried about him really seeing this channel or, you know, and plus he was older, but, you know, if he did see this channel, I mean, Bob, you need to go and get some help right now. I'm telling you that. You, know, you, you need to go get checked out. But anyway, you know, it reminds you of real life. You know, it, when you have a, that same fire-breathing coworker who comes and walks your way all the time with bad breath, and one day he's walking towards the bathroom and he turns blue, that is scary. Okay, folks? You need to evacuate the area right now. You must have gotten to the next level because he's blue now. He still ble he, he breathes the fire. Oh, yeah, he still breathes the fire. But there's some more stuff that's about to go down when he's blue. You know, you ever had that happen? I had another co-worker who always wore those red overalls, so it looked perfect. It looked just like, you know, he was Papa Smurf about to, about to go in there and, I don't know, give birth to a second arm or something. Something was about to go down in the bathroom that you didn't want to be around for. You know, and that, this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about, man. Dig Dug is a nasty game. It always reminds me of those bad situations, you know, those private situations. And I don't like the game. I don't at all. The game even sounds nasty. Doesn't it kind of sound nasty? Yeah. Dig Dug.